Why do you feel happy when you do things that goes against God Almighty? Have you thought about why sin feels good to do? For example, listening to music or skipping salad for a game. I bet you don't know the answer because anything that God says we should avoid are very dear to our heart. So now the question is, why is this happening to us? Well, in today's video, we are going to answer this question. So stay tuned and don't go far. Long ago, when God Almighty created Adam and Eve, he asked all the angels, including Iblis, to prostrate to Adam, signifying how beautiful Allah's creation is. But then Iblis disobeyed God and he was thrown out of heaven. But before he went away, he made God a promise, a promise that he will make sure that each and every son of Adam, that is you and I, will follow him into Jahannam. And God asked him how he is going to do that. And then he said, he will make things that are bad seem good to humans and they will follow him without thinking. Then God Almighty said to him that he can only get people to follow him because he allowed them to follow the ways of Shaitan. If not, Shaitan could have never competed with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Brothers and sisters in Islam, now what is the essence of this story? You see, Shaitan has made it his personal mission to get more people to join him in Jahannam. And guess what? He started way back in the Garden of Eden when he made Adam and Awa disobey God's command by eating from the tree that they were supposed not to eat from. And fast forward to recent days, Shaitan has made things so so easy. Now when you take up your phone, you can just search for anything that you want to see and it will be there, be it videos, be it pictures or even audios. Why do we think it is so so difficult to focus in prayer when your phone vibrates but you can focus very well when you are playing game or you are watching a movie? Why do we think it is so so difficult to get up for prayers when you hear the azan, but you can get up to pick up your phone when you hear it ring. Or you tell me why you think it is also difficult to listen to the Quran, but amazing whenever you listen to music. These are not coincidences. These are the traps that Shaitan has put in place to capture more souls into hell with him. And it is working because Shaitan has a lot more workers today. People are helping Shaitan get more souls into hell. The media is showcasing alcohol and gambling to younger children on and off the internet and nudity is now the norm where ladies walk fully naked because yesterday they walked half naked but today they are fully naked and all this is the works of shaitan you see the true definition of patience is shaitan because he's so so patient to the fact that when he whispers to you for you to disobey God and you disobey him rather, he will go but then return the following day. When you disobey him again, he will go and then come the next day. He's not going to stop until that one day. That one day you will lose your guard and then he will capture you easily. And so I find it so so generous of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when I hear that he says in Allah yuhibbu tawwabin that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves people who are tawwabin that is people who are always seeking his forgiveness because he knows that no matter how hard we try there is a time when shaitan is going to catch us off guard but when that happens we have a chance to return to our creator and seek his forgiveness and that it's amazing. So brothers and sisters in Islam, mine is to tell you the truth. What you will do with it depends on you. But always remember to seek Allah's forgiveness. For you don't know when Shaitan got you off guard. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.